So last week we just went through another milestone on Procreate 5. The team behind Procreate released the public beta version and those who actually got lucky had a chance to actually get a link and start downloading Procreate 5 beta, the open beta, and start playing with the new features that Procreate 5 is actually coming up with. So in this video we're going to be showing you what has changed from the private beta, what's new, and what actually still needs a little bit of work in my personal opinion in order to get to an even better application. My name is Leo and you're watching Ghost Paper, so now let's get to it. All right, now that we're here on Procreate 5 open beta, let me show you what are the things that actually changed from the previous version. First off, just a small change, all of the menus here, all, all of the icons actually on the sub panels for the actions menu have been completely redesigned. So that is a small touch, but it's certainly nice to see some fresh new UI actually added to Procreate 5. Next, the color wheel. The color wheel here actually got much bigger. So just starting with the first one uh, on the colors palette option, the disc color hue selection uh, did get a little bit bigger, which is really nice to select colors. And whatever colors you select, now there's a history uh, section right here, as well as your uh, default color palette. So it's also really nice to see that there is a color history that not necessarily needs to be in your colors palette. That is actually quite useful. And uh, as before, this is still the floating color picker. And you can still change between the modes, the available modes, as a floating color picker as well. Next, one thing that's actually pretty cool, so I'm just going to close and open a little bit bigger. It's finally we have the addition for the color harmony section on the colors palette here. And what that is, is actually a few modes where you're able to see uh, right away with this like very uh, responsive UI, what are the complementary colors in this case here? So if I'm selecting green, it's giving me the right, uh, the, the opposite in the, uh, the hue um, scale. And I can also click on the comp complementary here. I can split between a few uh, other modes here that we have on Procreate as well. And some are actually also super cool and useful as you can stop here, select this color and add it to your history or to your color palette, as well as click on the complementary colors as well. And you do have the primary and the secondary color as well as on the top right section of this color panel. Uh, the next part here didn't change uh, much as well from the previous version, so no big changes here. Next, uh, one actually big change was in the animation section of Procreate 5. So for that, we actually have, we actually have to go into preferences and turn on the animation assist. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys remember, but this used to be a completely different bottom bar here, which uh, basically only had a play button, had a timeline, and you could, you could add frames and also go into settings, just like now. But the big addition here, I do believe that the team behind Procreate actually went to Pixar and, and a few other places, went to Disney and talked about uh, and showed their uh, Procreate upcoming up, uh, Procreate 5 to a few of like key animators and lead animators. And they were able to give uh, and to receive some really great feedback. So what basically the guys told them over there, one of the things is actually, as we know, as animators, if you guys also do animation on your side, you know that like holding frames is something really, really important. So now that is also added here on Procreate, as well as the ability to select if a layer is a foreground element or a background element is now here rather than what it used to be before where we would click on the layers um, properties here or the layers, layers option and you would see foreground or background. So I, I think like they've just kind of put everything here at the bottom, which kind of, which does make uh, way more sense. And finally, guys, one of the big changes that I did see here for Procreate 5 open beta is that now on clicking on the blending mode for each layer, instead of having that bigger section here as we used to have, and it was actually quite good uh, before, I would say, because you could see by section. So the blend modes, they would be uh, divided between like dark, darker, lighter blend modes. Uh, I think there were a few like uh, color blend modes and so on and so forth. Now we get a list that is quite similar uh, to Photoshop. And the thing is, 
it is really nice to see that there's actually a little icon that maybe shows or tells a little bit of a story of what these blend modes actually do. I did prefer in the past how they were organized by subsections and within these subsections you could actually tell what they were trying to actually do such as like lighten the picture or darken a picture. So uh, also another thing that I'm not too sure I do understand is that, um, although I understand, is that they've set the normal blend mode in almost like in the middle here of this list, but because, at least for me, coming from Photoshop and other editing uh, apps, apps and illustration apps, I do think that sometimes it's better to have normal at the very top. It's just easier to just scroll to the top. But now we have uh, at the top section, we actually have multiply. So I think what the, uh, what the team behind Procreate is actually thinking or testing here at the moment is having maybe the darkened uh, sections here above normal and the ones that actually brighten the picture, they're under, um, under normal. So they're using normal as a divider. But the fact that it is here at the middle, I'm not really too sure about this change, guys. But this is something that I'm actually quite curious to know. Let me know in the comment section down below, how do you feel about these changes? Do you prefer the way that it used to be on Procreate 4.3? Or are you actually happy with all of the changes so far on Procreate 5 open beta. Uh, I believe that's it for this video, guys. I don't wanna make this too long. I just really wanted to give you a quick run through on some of the options and some of the new features that are finally coming out now in this version for the open beta. If you did get really lucky and you got this version, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section as well. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did a like would be super appreciated as well as make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more reviews, tips and tricks, speed paint videos and that is all for you to become a better digital illustrator. Also on the right side of the video here I am leaving the link in case you still don't have quite yet all of your chops on Procreate if you still need to learn a little bit more. Here's the trailer for my class which I teach on Skillshare as well as more information about Procreate 5. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Ciao.